Yay, I get to say it twice in a row! Hello there, everybody, this is Siwant the Plan One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Luigi 3D World. So, last time, we took down King Kathunk, the pathetically easy boss, at his castle. So, now that we rescued another Sprixie, let's go ahead and go to our next world. Skyworld, what? What? Usually this is like the seventh world. Can we already be done with the game? Huh. Or at least done with the main adventure, at least. Hmm. This is very strange. But anyway, World 6-1. Hey, guys. Remember this level from the early demo versions of the game? No? Well, this is one of the very first levels that they actually showcased. The Clear Pipe Cruise where they demonstrated the power of the clear pipes. Because they needed a clear pipes level, they obviously couldn't have led it to just a single level of gimmick. So anyway, yes, as the name, as the level name implies, you're going through clear pipes and such. And you have to use fire flower abilities to make it so that you can destroy the spike balls that are penetrating your path, because that's the only way to destroy the spike ball thingy mabobs is to either get a starman or or uh, shoot fireballs at the things so you can go ahead and do that yes now remember there's gonna be some fuzzies here to obstruct your pathway and you can't destroy them unless you have a star so you know avoid them just avoid them to your heart's content and go for it and speaking of going for it do not go into the clear pipe. Go on top of it. Because they made this stamp really well hidden. The best one, the best advice I can offer you is to save your cat power. Save the super bell, because you'll need that in order to get the stamp. It is possible to go up at the top of that little dent right there with Luigi. I've done it in practice. So, you know. Anyway, cheesing the level! Cheesing the level. You normally need your clear pipes in order to do that, but nope. I said, screw you, level. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want and stuff. But what you do need is the fire flower in order to kill those things, because if you run into them without, ha without having destroyed them, you basically get knocked back. So, you either need the, you either need the super bell, or you just need a fire flower. That is, if you really care about cheesing the level that much. <laughs> but regardless of that, we got our way to our third green star. And, yeah. Anyway, whoa, 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 that was too close, that was too close. Anyway, last up, we have the age-old finding the keys. Or the circle keys, or whatever. Or whatever the heck they're called. Keyholes. <laughs> Thank God I'm going at the same speed as the fuzzies, because otherwise I would just die or get hurt. Yeah, otherwise I would get hurt by them, therefore making me lose my powers for some reason. And, hello there, Captain! How are you doing this fine day? Chasing the coins? Planning to get rich? Well, too bad, because I steal them from you! Now, nah, whatever, let's just get a gold flag and be done with this level. Booyah. A booyah. Son. Soon. Yay, finally a 3 pack reference in your videos. Well, I'm sorry, kids. I like 3 pack. <laughs> I learned that out from the discovery of my EGF friends. Very nice of them to do that. Slot machine. And, yeah, that was very nice. And, yes, game, I know. I already explained that. I already explained that you can check your collections and stuff from the map thingy. Only at World 6, near the end of the main adventure, do you find that. J just, 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 wow. Just wow. Spooky Seasick Wreck. World 6 2. Can you still not comprehend the uh, possibility of Fire Peach? I know, I certainly can't because Project M made it a thing. Or at least the costume, but whatever. But anyway, here's technically a ghost house level. 
It's not really taking place in a ghost house, but it's referencing Mario World in a sense because we're on a ghost ship. And this is actually the first legitimate time we actually had a ghost ship or no way. New Super Mario Bros. U first. Ah. It's been over it's been a year. We need another ghost ship level. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> well, for for reference for that, um, there is a ghost ship, technically the ghost ship level in uh, Sparkling Waters in New Super Mario Bros. U, where you have to go inside a, a shipwreck of a thing. But this is actually the first legitimate 3D, or at least, when did they have like a ghost ship level in a 3D game? I don't think they did. I don't know. I'm trying to think back to when they had it. Like, Mario 64 didn't have one. Um, uh, Serena, Serena Beach in uh, Mario Sunshine technically had one with all the booze appearing in the hotel. Um, Mario Galaxy had uh, the Ghostly Galaxy, yeah. We had Boo Moon Galaxy in uh, Galaxy 2. We had those ghost house levels in uh, Mario 3D Land. And now we actually have a ghost ship level in Mario U and this one. So, yeah, there you go, and you know you gotta love the rain effects that they do here. Because look at that, the water is actually reflecting off the screen. So, that's to make it seem more like it's alive. And I actually do like that. I like that little detail. In fact, if it's one thing I really like about this uh, game, is that there's a lot of little details to this. You know, sort of like how Mario U has that little detail with the... You know how in the World 7 castle? The Moraine Clouds uh, castle level, where before you launch off to Ludwig's uh, airship, you get to see like that huge freaking tornado with Peach's castle in it, and around that is actually the airship that you go onto in the next level. Yeah, there's a lot of little details. Like, again, like I said in the impressions video, I freaking love the way this game looks. There's a lot of there's a lot of detail to it, while at the same time it keeps the Mario charm to it, and I really really love it. It's just so cool. This game is really cool. And stuff. And it better... And it had better freaking sell the Wii U, because if Mario Kart and Smash doesn't, then... something's obviously wrong here. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's the Ghost Ship level. Didn't really talk about it, but hey. At least you got... You have the video to show... To show for it, I guess. Anyway, another statue level. And... Another ultimate me alternate means of pathways. Alternate ultimate means of pathways. That that makes sense. But anyway, um, if you go up here, you'll find yourself the stamp house. So let's go ahead and go into it, shall we? To get our stamp right here. Remember, you need these in order to fully complete the game, or to at least 100% it. But whatever. So we got the stamp from there. And we saved the game. Again, you gotta... F I think you kind of find it obnoxious that the game, like, literally saves every single time you... Um... You complete a level or get a stamp or enter a new world. Which is kind of what screwed over the whole transition thing in Wolf 4. So... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, World 6-3! We have hands on hall. Ting ding ting 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 tong. Yeah, if you didn't get that reference enough, I freaking love this level. <laughs> God, I love this level. They finally bring in like Super Mario Land into this. Like they finally have more Eastern references in this one. Because look, listen to the music. It sounds all Asian. Or whatever the heck Japanese music sounds like. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mo uh, most Japanese music sounds like anime. Well, it does, but not to the extent of this. This is just awesome. Again, you gotta love the actual new themes that that this game brings to the Mario universe. Even if it's for just one time, it's nice to see something that's not a theme related to the world. 
So anyway, Hands On Hall has this gimmick of using the gamepad to open these doors, and you get to use the gamepad to fully open the doors, because probably for some of these doors you'll want to open them because, or open them fully, because, well, you might miss some details. But anyway, now I can actually properly explain the Goomba Head. So the Goomba Head, by the way, you have to use the gamepad to gong this thing. So the Goomba Head will disguise you, for whatever reason, as a Goomba. Which means enemies won't won't be able to harm you in any single way. So, you better go nuts with that. Hey, look at me, I'm just a Goomba. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> by the way, they give you a clock right here. Because, ooh, wallet guy, or whatever the heck your name was. I don't even need all these coins. They're just for lives, you know? But anyway, in here, in this warp box, we got another keys finding thingy mabob. But, what's more important is if you hit your head on these blocks right here, you'll not get the thing because you have to abandon the Goomba head for the propeller head so that you can get this green star. Just make sure you hover up by pressing the jump button again while in midair to do that. Oh, and by the way, oh, and by the way, uh, come on, come on, I said, by the way, okay, by the way, shortcut to the end of the level right here, but of course I'm not going to do that because I need the green star and the, the other green star and the, and the stamp. Alright, so there's the fourth one, so there's the fifth one right there. <laughs> I was about to say, like, where's the fifth one at? But then again, it's right here. So there you go. Now we open that so we can go ahead to the next part of the level. So let's go ahead and go there. And by the way, gong this. Choose your destiny. Psh, 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 psh. Flawless victory. Mortal Kombat! Okay, I always wanted to do that. <laughs> By the way, the third green star... I, I think the third green star. No, 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 it's the stamp. By the way, the stamp... Here's your hint. Notes the way that the spike bars are moving. Notice how they're not falling into the abyss. So if you go out here, check it out. Trust me when I say I make that seem easier when that it needs to be because first time playing through you're gonna have a hell of a lot of a hard time just trying to find the stamp like seriously it took me like a few tries of this level to fully get the stamp seriously it's incredibly easy to miss because some stars are dicks like that <laughs> but anyway gong that thing so you can get this mystery box so you can get your last green star and there you go at least they're not as hard, again, at least they're not as hard to find as they were in Galaxy 2. Can't wait for that. Anyway, booyah. A booyah. 50 lives even. Huzzor. Yeah. So, with that all done and done and over with, Wait, should I continue with one more level, or should I... No, it actually really all... Ooh! I might as well take this on first. I got time. I got time, without clearing that one level. I can go in levels out of order, okay? Prince Bully Blockade. Oh, so now we actually have a mini-boss instead of a mook rush. Let me actually go with random. Yeah, tool! I always like taking this boss on this toad. So anyway, Prince Bully right here. What you need to do is you need to basically bop him clear enough to the clear pipes. Close enough to the clear pipes. So he can turn into that. And then you basically just have to jump on him. Again, nothing really too special about that. Just either lure him over to the clear pipes. Because he'll stop right there. And stuff. And more stuff. Boosh! <laughs> I like how you can see him just going out there. It's just like, ah! <laughs> but anyway, last hit. He's gonna shoot that fireball a lot faster. He doesn't even shoot out multiple fireballs. He just, just shoots that one. And whoop! 
Wham! <laughs> I didn't notice I could go into the clear pipes, actually. But, there you go, that's... Where... Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, where the heck is my, am I? And look at little Toad, he's got a little boomerang suit. He's got a little boomerang suit of awesome. Neat. <laughs> okay. So with that all done, we have 150... We have the equivalent of Mewtwo's number, green stars on our possession. And we, again, unlock the way to two more levels. So, indeed, next time on Let's Play Super Mario 3D World, we are pretty much maybe... Yeah, there's pretty much like... I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know if this world is gonna be two more levels or, or just one. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to see. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.